I'll call for a, a letter I received Friday from uh, Rick Tackhill. Uh, I already uh, filmed one, but uh, sadly I just scrapped it on the computer. So we're gonna make it again. Um, meanwhile, uh, I'm gonna start a fire with the flint and steel and show you um, a little device that I made uh, out of a bamboo piece. In French, we call it bouffadou. It's uh, an ancestral uh, blower for uh, blowing the fire. Uh, I think in English it's a bellu, a pocket bellu, as I saw on firebox.com either. Uh, made of uh, like an antenna uh, uh, stick. But this one is made in bamboo and it's a collapsible one. I just put some uh, jute toy with some glue here to have a tight fit. A little piece of leather here just to not burn the bamboo here and so what I'm gonna try to do today is to ignite the char clock put it in my nest here and blow it to flame to get the fire and after that I'm gonna show you what Rick sent me so without further doing I'm gonna just take a piece of char cloth. I also put some uh, fat wood that I gather in the park uh, last uh, Friday, I think, in the nest along with some barks. So I tried to get some uh, little uh, pieces that are uh, unfurled, put it with my little piece of flint trying to find a good edge I think here it's gonna be okay and strike it we got it we got it spark in few places so now I'm gonna put that into the nest whoop I think I just no, it's okay I'm gonna just put some bit of uh, chips eater from my carving and blow that and we got flame I'm gonna put some twigs but it's a wooden pallet that I just uh, and start the fire once it started we're gonna show you what's in that letter just uh, telling you Rick is uh, in Arizona and it's a awesome guy that makes uh, ferro rod handle uh, bread uh, uh, paracord into bracelet uh, really a nice guy a good drawing skill uh, so I think the fire is uh, going to so that pocket bill is uh, awesome for that I'm just gonna put everything back into my skin. Burn everything. Put some more here, and hopefully we're gonna get the fire going. No need of a lighter or stuff like that. 
when you got a good piece of steel, some good flint or quartz and charred material, you're good to go. So without further doing, coming directly from Arizona, we got Rick sticker. So really uh, please an owner Rick to get it. Uh, I know it costs you uh, quite money to get uh, those uh, stickers so I really appreciate and now it's in Canada so uh, I'm gonna put it here aside and just want to thank you. Thanks uh, many other people in US uh, with whom I share uh, interesting uh, idea and I uh, learn a lot from them I think uh, to uh, Diane at Snow Fog Outdoors Donny Pavolini uh, that guy is really awesome with uh, really a uh, deep thought on human being and uh, outdoors so uh, thank you Rick uh, to have me uh, discover those people and uh, hope that uh, this uh, little mail call can make uh, some of my viewer uh, discover your channel along uh, with uh, the other member of uh, that bushcraft community as I like to call because I don't really necessarily like that uh, bushcraft uh, word I prefer art of the wood uh, woodsman and woodswoman uh, because it's mainly related to traditional um, way of uh, enjoying uh, modern natures and also to bind it with more uh, modern uh, way so uh, some people like it, like it more primitive uh, I do in some case wait I'm gonna take my uh, just to uh, but uh, yes I like very primitive way but also I think we have to take in account that our ancestor they took what was available to them and doesn't uh, question themselves is it uh, is it uh, correct or not correct as long as uh, it served their uh, needs and their purpose so if I can get some uh, more modern uh, tools or gears why not and link it with uh, more uh, traditional one hey here I'm going so thanks you bro oh there is something uh, in the behind hello my friend I hope the sticker reached you well it did uh, brother thanks for all your support Rick Tackill so I'm gonna put a link below in that I uh, think uh, the description box to um, to the Rick channels and uh, thank you very much man really appreciate I have to find a way uh, to put that sticker I don't have a board I don't know if I'm gonna make a board or find one of my gear on which I can put the sticker uh, to have it with me uh, in uh, some of my uh, outdoor uh, adventure so take care and keep on doing your great work your awesome uh, drawing uh, handles and so on see you on the next one